Strange. Now, for many who are on the PlayStation Network, you will know that Life is Strange is now available to download free if you are a PlayStation Plus member. Now, it does confuse me uh, why they put it this way, but you know, uh, for those who want to download it for free on PlayStation, if it says 2 to 5, it's actually 1 to 5, so you're going to get the whole chapter. It's just like with Tales uh, from the Borderlands, which I'll be doing next. I decided to do this now for my YouTube channel because I thought I wanted to add some more content, you know, some more stuff. <laughs> and uh, you know, this game so far has drawn me in. I've already completed chapter one, and we're already in the chapter two as it is, but you know, each chapter has a certain kind of length, so. So, anyway. Wait up, Speedy! Dude, this is gonna be so cool! Your present. You can just back time up! We'll have to test you now to make sure. Good Welcome time. to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Okay, so in this part of the game, I would have played this part a bit. There are individual pieces to this little area that kind of open up a little bit more. Now, for those who may have played this already, you will know that the dough seems to be a significant piece to this already unraveling puzzle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Now, the problem with this one is... is that if you try and reach for it, this happens. Stupid bottle. And unfortunately, I've tried to reverse time, and the results are still the same. Oh, wait. Never mind. Okay, so... So far, so good. i found there's a few things in this game that kind of give us a few hints here and there. Now... There are some theories I'm already building. Hello, number bottle number one. Four more to go. There is a missing girl called Rachel in this, and it seems that she may be one of the key areas to this game's minor mystery. For one, chapter one gave us some identification to maybe her being missing, yes, but maybe her being a part of this entire structure. Now, my theory is, is that Rachel could actually have been in the same place as Max. Same powers, same abilities. But, the opening to Chapter 2, we see something rather interesting. In the diner, after using her powers, Max has a nosebleed. Now, for those who may read into this kind of science fiction subculture kind of idea, any person that manipulates time in a certain way um, chronologically through mentality um, they are going to be affected because they are the conduit any person that can kind of go back in time using these abilities is a conduit to their own ability and to some degree it is rather an interesting idea so um, my theory is from Oh, 
hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. My theory is that maybe Rachel is a conduit to Max's ability. That's the one with the file. That file actually uh, leads us to believe that maybe. Boom. Only three bottles left. Now watch this. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like... The same dough from my tornado vision. As you can see, that, that dough, dough is the perfect photo op. That dough, as you can see, is very transparent. So I'm thinking that could actually be Rachel. I don't know why, but the dough itself could actually be some kind of metaphorical status. And as you can see in the picture, it appears without being there at all as if somehow it is a premonition towards her powers being in some sort of use. This was an old school punk shirt. Now many times when a person um, plays a game they can create all kinds of theories but there are all sorts of ideas that could be happening here. I mean, this seems like a regular girl with regular, regular life, and... There's all sorts going on in this game. so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. So we have two out of, two out of five bottles, and I'm not gonna lie, that it's only now that I've been able to find the second bottle. I mean. You've really got to find these things by a certain kind of close-up range of eye. This is the scariest thing here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. I didn't see this last time. Three down, two more to go. Talk Aww. about finding a bottle in a haystack. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Who wrote this? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. One area of the mystery is that there are all sorts of integers as to what could have happened to this person. Like, it's almost as if this entire... Ouch.
Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. So like an opposite kind of turnaround. There's a lot of interesting ideas that this game presents. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I find that this is one of those rare games that kind of lets you open up in a way that's unprecedented. I mean, this game already has some pretty powerful messages to it. And already we're seeing some incredible pieces of the core and the artist's vision. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. One more bottle to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. I wonder if this ball was actually. So that happened, so because of the option I actually chose, the event could actually be something far more. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works, a god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Okay, so this bonfire spot will most likely be where the last bottle is. Nope, I don't want to go there. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, so the bonfire spot has to be somewhere around here then.
there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there's a bonfire spot or oh poor thing they left you here all alone I don't want to go that way Thanks for the tip. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe.
With the abilities you get on this game, you're able to manipulate certain events around you. Like, um, I found you're able to kind of fast forward or pre course the abilities around you. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Hold the trigger. Where do I aim slightly above? Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yeah. Give me something to shoot. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Dude, I need a tar- How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> Conjuring of the storm that she sees is also a prelude to someone else giving her the vision. A theory goes that when someone is connecting from the past, let's wait a minute. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. 
Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. A theory goes on saying that there are two dimensional links. Now, this is a theory that's coming to mind now. But it could be. Rachel's in the future. And she's sending these visions back to Max. Almost like a way to warn her and Chloe. It's almost like um, different timelines being connected in one. The events of one thing happening to another. And it could be that these visions also relate to the powers she has. So maybe, for all we know, her powers are given to her to help reverse certain consequences that could happen in that time frame. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh-oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. 
And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Are you ready to do? Hey, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. It's I'm shit. not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out we need a new secret hangout at least frank wouldn't find us are you okay max i'm still freaked out about what happened that was awful chloe i'm sorry but frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts all he cares about is his cash stash and mangy dog chloe are you for reals frank just took your gun and threatened us He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. 
I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. tool to cut those wires. Find a tool to cut those wires. Please get me out of here! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move! Max! Nope, I don't want to go there. Use this bad boy. Max! The train's coming! Max, please! You can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Max, get me out of here! Budget at all. But 
which wire to cut. Whoa, Short Circuit City. But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. The train's got... Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. That snow is so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards.
Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. <clears throat> Starting to get better. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Me, so you can't I help you, me. To be honest, I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I've talked to her this morning. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon.
Listen, if I do have a class I have to teach, I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. No time Show to talk, Max. Rock. Posing and how do I look, Taylor? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. And he Assholes. Is. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power it's basic yin and yang i guess yang. kate will miss I class now i'm worried about her interests. although we don't technically see in my yo some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm zachary do not come into my class like that ever again listen everybody remain seated dismissed okay Again and again. Keep going, Max. You can.
Yes. doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? I was with Chloe, and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently, her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, you're not. And I'm here for you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing gets like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No! Fuck. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, 
As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me. I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. I trust my security officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan... I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video, macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps 
You shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm with... Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Oh boy. Okay, um, <clears throat> now I have a better idea as to what that shelf is now. Is it a thief's file? But who's the person behind it? So that was chapter two, folks, of uh, Life is Strange. My thoughts, powerful, very, very powerful. It feels like that no matter what you could have said or done, uh, she was going to jump either way. It seems that what they've done here is they've created some kind of chaos theory. That is, I mean, this is a very strong story. I mean, chapter two this led me into a whole new level of what the fuck. I mean, there was something about this game so far that is taking us into a whole new level of sight. This is incredible stuff. It's very artistic. Which is, of course, obvious, seeing as though Max Caulfield, our main character, is, in many ways, a train now. My personal thought is that this has to be what can only be described as a powerful but twisted tale so far, and I think we now have a better idea as to what that shelf is. It seems that there are individuals who have lost their life at Black Hole, and it's opening these doors, these doors to something far more gritty. Now, it looks like that there was actually a chance here of saving Kate's life. But I think... Let's have a look, let, let's have a look through here. So... I think that there might be a good... Uh, I'm going to say this now, but... I think the fact we couldn't save Kate's life has actually unveiled something to us. It's opened up this whole thing that... Because she died, we've found out just what those files are. And... Um, like I, I, I've said this on Twitch, but... Um, I will be at some point doing a replay through. So I'm gonna be going through all my results and trying to see where that all works out. So, in the next playthrough, I will try and save her life, but I think the fact that we couldn't save her life has kind of helped us here to unravel. So, if you like what, we saw, what you've seen here, folks, um, give a like and subscribe if you, like, if you want. There's more to come for this channel. I, as I said in previous videos, I'm trying to do little bits and pieces here. Uh, some things with family, some things with friends. It's going to be a, a bacchanal. <laughs> you never know. 
But anyway, I'm going to uh, end this video, but I am going to go into the next one now, the chapter 3. Because we've seen that these take around about half an hour, at least. And, uh, yeah. Until chapter 3, guys, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time.